Hi all, uh, this is Rahul from Way to Automation. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing about how to migrate our existing Cucumber uh, 1.2, that is uh, Qux Info Project, to the latest Cucumber IO library, which is at version 4 now. So I've seen uh, many people facing issues with a different version of Cucumber jars and mismatching dependencies. So these are the two major dependencies that you need to include in uh, your latest Cucumber uh, project when you are using the Cucumber IO library. So in case uh, you add the jars manually, then uh, there are so many jars to include in the project. And the best way is to follow any dependency management tool like Maven or Gradle to manage these dependencies. So in that case, I mean, in case you are using a Cucumber project with JUnit, so you would be needing one Cucumber Java uh, dependency and the other one is Cucumber JUnit. And in case you want to use a test engine integration with Cucumber, so instead of Cucumber JUnit, you should be using uh, the test engine part of it. And uh, since we'll be working on Maven, so we'll gonna get these de dependencies uh, downloaded from uh, the Maven centralized repository itself. And for that, uh, we will be navigating to mvnrepository.com and search for Cucumber from here. So over here, you're gonna see the info Qx uh, Cucumber project. If you go to this Cucumber Java, you're gonna see that uh, uh, like the all the development process stopped in September 2016 and then they have uh, mentioned that uh, this artifact was moved to IO Cucumber now. So if you click on this, this will gonna take you to uh, the Cucumber IO library and you can see a lot of dependencies over here, right? Which is from IO Cucumber now and uh, over here, the very first dependency that you'll be adding is the Cucumber Java one. And if you look at this dependency, uh, the latest one is 5.0 release candidate. So I, I don't recommend you to use this one at the moment because 4.8 is one of the most stable one. So what you need to do is you need to copy this uh, Maven dependency. In case you are using Gradle, then you can download uh, this dependency from here. You can copy this dependency from here. So one Cucumber java and the other one in case you are using a uh, junit runner so you would be needing cucumber junit uh, dependency you can download the uh, 4.8.0 itself or else in case you are using uh, it with test ng then you need to search for this cucumber test ng dependency and uh, the version is uh, 4.8.0 itself right so i have uh, actually uh, copied my existing project uh, which we were using it with 1.2 and uh, i have actually converted that into a maven project so i have a pom.xml file over here and here you can see I've added Cucumber Java 4.8 and uh, I've added uh, the same with test ng and JUnit as well, right? So whichever uh, runner you want to create, you will uh, gonna include that dependency on. In case you are working on test ng, don't include the JUnit one, right? So uh, what I have done, I mean, uh, I'm going to show you that the process and everything remains same that we were uh, using it in uh, uh, the 1.2 Qx info project. Uh, same thing we're going to do it here in the Cucumber IO project as well, right? Just that a uh, couple of changes that you need to do it in your project. Uh, at times what happened let's say you create any feature file so in the resources we are going to keep our feature file so this is one of a sample feature that i've created and you can see this color coding over here this is because i have installed a cucumber uh, eclipse plugin if you go to eclipse marketplace you can search for uh, cucumber eclipse plugin over here i have already installed it so i'm going to show it to you uh, which one that you need to install so this is the one cucumber eclipse plugin which is 0 
right so this is what that you need to install and uh, once you install this plugin once you start writing your features and uh, adding scenarios and then adding steps to your scenarios if your uh, step is already mapped to uh, your uh, glue code glue code is basically where you will be writing the step definition if you have gone through initial lecture of uh, the cucumber course then you should be uh, familiar with uh, what step definition is so step definition looks uh, something uh, like uh, this where uh, we define steps for all uh, uh, like whatever feature that we have written we need to define it in the step definition all the steps over here so uh, let's say this was the very first step where user navigates to uh, facebook website and this uh, step is already mapped to our glue code if you see over here i'm getting a small green dot and you can see glued with a uh, user navigates to facebook website right so this is all already glued so initially it may happen that even if you write the step definition over here you might not going to see uh, this uh, glued with uh, the particular step uh, showing up it might going to show you uh, uh, a warning with a yellow sign uh, that is uh, your steps are not yet mapped right so in that case even if you have written everything correct the very first thing you need to do is convert your existing project into the cucumber project you can see there there is a small green coming up over here uh, with your maven project so what you need to do just right click over here and say configure and you need to click on convert to cucumber project so once you do that your project will be converted to the cucumber project and when you map your uh, features with the step definition file so all the steps will gonna come uh, as glued in your uh, feature file right so this is a very simple feature that i've added i've added uh, multiple scenarios over here and then i've written some steps with your uh, with, with the jerking language uh, which is like given when then and right and then i've mapped all these steps over here in the step definition these things we have already seen in the initial cucumber lectures and these things will gonna remain the same there, there is no changes uh, in how we uh, uh, actually do the coding part right and in order to run this feature we would be needing a runner file so in your uh, source test java package uh, we, i have created a runner folder uh, a runner package in which uh, there is one cuke file which will actually gonna run with junit and the other one i have uh, like created it for test ng right so you can use either of this whichever runner that you have included in your cucumber project if you have included j unit so you need to mention at the rate run with cucumber dot class this is the same thing that we used to do with uh, the 1.2 version of cucumber as well right and then uh, in your cucumber options you need to add where your features are you need to add a plugin to generate a json file or a html file and then you need to provide your glue code uh, location which is the step definition folder same thing will be done when you will uh, be using test ng with test ng you need not to define run with annotation the same thing is done with the help of uh, the class that you need to extend with your runner class that is abstract test ng cucumber test and make sure when you're importing this library everything should be imported uh via package io.cucumber right and cucumber options will gonna remain the same for test ng as well right so if you uh want to run it uh, if you want to run it with test ng just right click run as test ng test and in the output you're gonna see all the features uh running over here absolutely fine right same way uh, you can validate the output as well and same thing if you want to do it with junit just right click on the junit runner and run it with junit so all these things should kind of show up over here as well for multiple scenarios right so this is how uh, you're going to fix your project in case you want to migrate to uh, the latest cucumber io library 
you need to make sure you should have all dependencies with the version uh, 4. Dot, uh, uh, the latest one is 4.8, right? So that's all in this video. And in case you face any issues in any of your Cucumber lecture, then just uh, write down in the Q and A section of the course, and I'm gonna help you in fixing that issue. All right, thank you.